What's up guys? Welcome back to DCS World and of course my A10C tutorial series. In this video we're going to look at cluster bombs or canister munitions. Uh, both names mean the same thing. So first off let's take a look at our DSMS as always here. Let's pause the camera real quick right there so we can focus. Uh, we have two bombs on our airplane today. We have two times CBU 97s. Uh, there are a couple of variations of cluster bombs. There's the CBU 97, which we have here. There's also the CBU 87, the CBU 103, and 105. We're going to explore the 103 and 105 a little bit later uh, because those are guided variants of the CBU. But for this video, we want to look at the unguided variant. So we first have the CBU-97 here. Uh, the 97 is a canister munition, meaning it is a container that has several submunitions within. Uh, these submunitions are actually what explode and do damage to the targets. And as I mentioned, this is the CBU-97. The 97 submunitions are designed for uh, anti-vehicle, anti-tank, uh, all but the heaviest armored vehicles. Uh, the CBU-87, by comparison, is designed more for anti-personnel and unarmored or very lightly armored vehicles. Uh, we're going to use the 97 today just because I think it's a little bit more fun and um, a little bit, uh, a little bit more spectacular when it actually does uh, does its job. Uh, one also one thing to note about the CBU-97 is its submunitions are actually uh, smart munitions. What they do is they uh, zip towards a tank that they can find. Uh, they actually have little seeker heads in them that can zip towards a vehicle and destroy it. Uh, and it's really cool to see when it happens because you just see things start zipping around. Uh, you'll see from a camera view in just a little bit. Uh, but before we can drop, we need to just double check a few things. Uh, as always with every weapon that we have, let's go into profile and just make sure we're set up correctly. Uh, there we go, let's select our CBU-97s. I did have 87s on the airplane, but ignore that. View profile. Let's check what we have here. Uh, we're actually going to drop these in single, but we're going to press the weapon release button twice to drop both bombs. Uh, there's a bit of a weirdness when you try to drop these in pairs, I've found. Uh, they sometimes don't always drop in pairs, so to drop both weapons at once, we're going to drop in single and just press the weapon release button twice. Nose and tail fuse is fine. Uh, it's, uh, there is no nose fuse technically on these. There is only a tail fuse, so uh, nose and tail will work. Mode is CCIP, as I mentioned. We're going to drop these in CCIP with a typical CCIP dive angle, similar to when we did unguided bombs. And then let's check our advanced settings. Uh, and there's really nothing to change here. Safe escape maneuver, etc. So let's save. Now I do want to point out one thing that we can change. We need to go into our inventory here. So the button labeled INV for inventory opens up the inventory screen. And then we actually have to select one of these pylons. So let's select station 4 with this push button and we can see that station 4 is loaded currently with one time CBU 97 so let's select CBU with this button here CBU 97 and the setting that we're interested in on this screen and this is a pretty deeply buried setting so you may not ever want to change this if um, if it doesn't suit you but sometimes you might uh, this setting here HOF or height of function what this setting means is that this, currently set to 1800, is the height above the ground when the canister munition is going to pop open and release the bomblets. We can change this by clicking on it and it cycles through a few different preset heights. Uh, 1800 feet, the default is actually pretty good, uh, but you can set it higher if there's no wind and you want a slightly wider area or lower if there is a lot of wind and you don't want the bomblets to drift off. One thing I should mention about the bomblets is that after they pop out of the canister, they actually fall with little parachutes. 
So because of that, they're actually susceptible to wind, and they will drift off target if you're not careful. Uh, I've got our training mission here set up with no wind, so we can set this to the default of 1800, and that's fine. And uh, if we did change anything, we would want to hit one of the load buttons here. Uh, if you want to change just a single pylon, you'll hit load. Or if you've got weapons on symmetrical pylons, such as in this case, uh, I believe it's 4 and 8, 4 and 7, something like that. Whatever the symmetrical pylon is, you want to click load sim, and that will load the symmetrical pylons. Yes, it is 4 and 8. Let's go stat. So we're back to our main page here. Now to drop the weapons, we need to have our master arm on, which it already is. Uh, we don't have a TGP today, so we're not going to worry about that. And then we want to make our HUD the sensor of interest with Cooley up. And then use our DMS left and right to select the weapons. So now the weapons are highlighted. Excellent. Let's unpause the camera look straight ahead here. And I have, uh, if I can find them, I have a cluster of vehicles set up off in the distance over there that we're going to go drop these on. So stand by while I get lined up for this attack run. All right, so the targets are off to our, off to the left here. When they come into view near our canopy bow, just with our CCIP unguided bombs, we're gonna roll in. And there they are, so let's roll in. Throttles back to idle, almost inverted. Roll straight up. There's our CCIP cross. Pull up, pull up. And bombs away. Can be a little finicky sometimes. And then let's pull up. And we probably won't see the munitions actually splinter open, but I've got a camera view set up so you can see the impact of the cluster bombs. So let me get my autopilot going and let's check it out. There you can see the bombs falling there. There are little parachutes. There they go. Boom. Look at that. A lot of damage. You can take out a lot of vehicles and now they're going to start blowing up. That's pretty cool, right? Really, really effective against clusters of vehicles like this. Clusters of infantry or lightly armored vehicles. Cluster bombs can just do so much. Uh, all those vehicles are dead. Only a few survived, really. So that's how you use cluster bombs. Uh, very similar to unguided CCIP bombs, but you just have to bear in mind that you have to uh, drop them uh, above their height of function uh, and just bear those height, heights of function in mind that can be adjusted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, really, really pretty simple for the most part uh, and a lot of fun to use. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.